Hi guys, mm, it was a long awaited project uh, to build retaining wall and pathway for my front yard. There were a couple of options uh, to consider like usually people can build it with the wood slipper and then put uh, marble wood on top of it. But I dropped that option because I find it, uh, it requires more maintenance and would become rotten over the period of time. And then I decided to use uh, Adbray Mesmeray Versa Log Blocks. The problem was uh, uh, when I started uh, looking into YouTube, I didn't find uh, such project uh, in detail, uh, especially for the front yard. Although there are a couple of garden bed and other uh, retaining wall projects were there from the company itself, but there was uh, no complete project DIY type. So. Then I decided uh, it would be a good idea to document all those important steps. I didn't compl uh, completely cover each and every detail, but the important steps and the important detail you will find in this video. So the main purpose of this video uh, to um, show you from start to end uh, how much time it will, it will take and how much effort it was uh, required to finish this project and uh, what were the challenges, what are the mistakes. Uh, so I think uh, you will find, um, if you want to build this project, you will find it quite informative. Uh, you st if you still see need any help or any um, suggestion, please uh, feel free to drop uh, your comments so I can reply back. Thank you guys. Uh, let's uh, so watch the video. Actually, I want to construct the wall. I already started working. As you can see that the uh, footing is uh, in progress so what i did i just dig almost uh, six to eight inch and then uh, for 100 mm uh, i just added a crush rocks it's not compacted yet but i will compact there are other options uh, to build this is actually you can put uh, some concrete if you want really solid but i would not go with that option because uh, for me it will it will be like a more labor intensive so i will just simply use this crush rock compact it and, and make it a uh, dead level and then once it's done then i will install Ready. the blocks if i could be able to see from this angle there will be a path in front of the door and both sides will be having the retaining wall and in the center i will build steps using decking technique and also I'll, I'll add deck on the front door. 27th of March 2024 and uh, the bricks and the caps are delivered today in the morning. And there are 67 caps and 130 bricks. they dropped two pallets now I have ordered eight plus eight corner block left corner and right corner so my preparation is also almost done I just need to compact the crush rock and then <coughs> remove some soil then I will install those bricks Let's see how it turns out after installation. It's so satisfying to cut this. Color of the bricks is charcoal. Let me just remove this. Yes, so the counting is complete, and they gave me a little bit extra bricks in case if there is any 
damage but so far there is no damage at all I think it looks good I'm just trying to get the idea that uh, how high this wall will become so it will be like uh, 500 mm 200 plus 200 plus 100 mm so it's like half a meter which is like I think <laughs> you'll be fine in my case so yeah yes definitely. it's uh, 28th of March and I just uh, started installing those blocks it's very difficult to actually record each and every step so what I did so far I just uh, create this level surface with the a small bed of crushed rocks on top of uh, crushed rocks I just install almost uh, two inches of stone dust and then compact with this hand compactor so far um, this is my progress this is almost took one hour the tool I'm using uh, is a uh, rubber millet level wheelbarrow large level broom shovel so let me continue with this line because the first line is the difficult one you have to level you have to make the line straight so they are all calculation should be right otherwise it will be difficult for on the later stage so here I'm trying to install two bricks layer and then there will be like the third one I didn't complete because it was just useless so I just put the bricks on top of it it's kind of a smart move <laughs> okay let me just continue my work and then I will update when I finish this first one hi right, again <clears throat> so I have finished uh, one first line as you can see and uh, it was not that difficult now I need to put crushed rock so I was a bit worried for the structural strength and then uh, somebody who is actually experienced gave me an idea that you can actually install these pegs to provide the structural support if it couldn't it, the wall could not be topple front or back like because of the soil pressure so i will i just put this one uh, so I decided to actually alternative one long one short peg and then I'll put the crushed rock so for example with this one I'll show you when I put a concrete block on top of it so as you can see you now I put the second block and this peg become in the middle I already hammer it before installing the second block so it only covered the two level of bricks and here I will put another one which covers the three level of bricks here also because these are the corners that require more strength so it's almost uh, five o'clock I completed the three layers of the bricks now I just need to cut the bricks and install on these edges and then I need to put the enforce reinforcement bars and pour the concrete in it yeah so as I mentioned the first brick was like kind of uh, challenging and then it is just like aligning one top of another so now I'm going to cut to fix on this end on that end and cutting is really messy job because uh, all the dust particles can go so you, you do need to use protective gear, glasses and mask.
that was I'm going to use. Good that. afternoon. Today is 30th March 2024, and I just prepared this side. As you can see, I have digged, and now I will put the crushed rock and compact it for the preparation. And I did extract the letter box and I'd move it on this side. And I think it will look good when they will be, or maybe I will just check later. Other than that, I just installed these iron brackets to protect the wall to toppling, as you can see. I put this, I did it with the screws. And there is one missing, I will install one more. And then I will put the silicone. So, so far, this is the progress. Tomorrow I will install the bricks on this side and then I will show you the update. See ya tomorrow. Today is 31st March and uh, I resume my work. I started with the challenging task. So this is uh, what I did. I can't fit one brick here. So I just cut the brick into two pieces horizontally as you can see here. This piece is separate. This piece is separate and then I stuck these so it could be like solid and not moving and then I will fill the sand in this particular area. So I will continue from this side after filling the sand and the next layer of the brick will also I need to do some trick because I cannot bury this pipe. So, but I know that whenever it need to be opened, it will be mess. Like obviously, the bricks won't able, won't be able to remove easily. Let's Hi see. again. So uh, today I have completed this uh, task, which I want to build this wall on this side. And as I mentioned earlier, the challenge was to fix this pipe and see I just cut the brick and this brick actually go on top of another one so uh, and this side there is no cut so this is beautifully fit in this area and later uh, I will fill this cavity with the soil and plant some flower on it but I will make a wooden box here like this on top of uh, this level to avoid uh, to go any soil in that pipe and pipe entrance will be remain accessible so this is how it looks so far it's not completed yet it's just like um, I just done the main part tomorrow if I'm not tired I will just uh, start cutting the bricks because uh, the next I have to create a brick line along with this concrete till that point here that will be brick line and this one I need to complete this loop like here here and this there so this loop will be completed and once all this done, then uh, as you can see, I just put this fence uh, peg for the reinforcement. I'll pour the concrete, not concrete, but crushed rock will be sufficient here. And then there will be a call to make a column like a look. I will put one more um, layer of blocks like here, there, and there. So it will be like one more layer height will be increased only for this area and this where I can put some pot in the future and then uh, I will remove this letter box and exactly create the same wall here but that wall will not starting from the ground it will start from this level so it's mean it will be mostly like a, a decorative fake wall going exactly same like that so then both will be look symmetrical i think uh, it's just looking near 
99% aligned with the duo that which I can see but I'm not sure because uh, I didn't put the string it was just I was following the brick line along with my level bars. I'm actually <laughs> a little bit tired from last few days I'm continuously working on this project so you can post any question on the comment I can uh, reply on that or if you need any advice tips I can also give you that on that one so because I didn't see on the YouTube although the bricks are available in Melbourne but I didn't see it so now I think this will be the complete project of retaining wall of the front yard. Today is uh, 6th of April, Saturday, and I'm just uh, finishing this. I have to install the other brick line on this side, just like over there. And I just started filling these with the crush rocks because when you put the crush rock, it will actually block the bricks so they won't move so this is uh, my crush rocks and then I'll put stone dust on top of it to make the surface smooth I have ordered extra crush rocks so I will just use it when I'm building the stairs with the decking I'm also installing the aggie pipe it's a smaller one I think 50 mm so this is not the ideal way the way I'm doing because you need to wrap the aggy pipe uh, along with the I think thin membrane so it could not be clotted with the soil but I will just not use anything I will just directly put the crush rocks on top of it so here the slope on going on that side starting from here so it's good uh, to have that aggy pipe but you can also if you don't want you can avoid so Today I have just completed this far, uh, so this is done, I just need to put column on top of it tomorrow, complete crush box are also poured into this one, and this one also done in, with the crush box, this is temporary letter box. So in order to access the strong water pipe, I just put this wooden structure. So in this side, I'll still can put some soil and grow some plants. And also in this side, I can also grow some plants. The same thing I have done on this side. Uh, but obviously, there will be the structure was like that. I cannot grow plant on this side. So currently it's look like that and the, the thing is I have more bricks than I could use in this project so I was thinking to utilize those bricks so I'm just making that small platform e over there which will be done uh, later uh, come under the deck morning uh, yesterday I installed the caps uh, with the Lico nails as you can see all the walls now have the caps this structure is actually not uh, I just designed this because I will build this structure here not exactly on the blue lines but it will be like extended so I will maybe later use it for the garden bird or maybe I'll use it as a decking boundary So this work is almost completed. There are a few minor things I need. Just need to put the soil, adjust some things. Uh, I also have that stone dust and crush rock, which will be used here. And uh, there is another wall I want to build along with this one to actually have a small flower bed just like this so today is raining so I don't think I will do any work but uh, this is 
how it looks so far. Okay, thank you. Good morning, today is uh, 12th of April and uh, I was actually, why I am laughing because I did my, I did a mistake uh, within my retaining wall. So the level of the retaining wall, horizontal level was not perfect and, uh, and this was happened because I didn't use a string. I thought I could uh, get away with it but no. Uh, it's a lesson learned well lesson learned so i just uh, want to highlight if you want to start this project uh, use the string line uh, and make sure you you don't need to do this re rework thing which i'm going to do now so here so this is the area which i have to dig again and uh, as you can see the problem of the problem is in this level so from the top cap one two three is fine and four starting from cap four and five and onward it is just a kind of going decline on this side which I need to fix. So lesson learned make sure you don't repeat this mistake otherwise you have to you know waste your energy and resources. Not resources but energy <laughs> for sure. Thank you. So my project is almost uh, near to completion. Once I done this, I just put uh, the, the soil back and make it level and then this is, I will just glue the caps again. So hopefully I will fix this in this weekend. Till then, bye. Hi guys, today is 16th of April and uh, I finally finished this uh, brick works. I started uh, almost I think 10 days ago so it require it actually cost me uh, approximately 2500 Australian dollar and uh, roughly 40 hour of uh, man work individual so you can plan accordingly as you can see here so I just use almost 130 bricks and um, the standard bricks Adbury Masonry and there are 20 corner blocks in total and 150 caps so these are the caps which I actually install on top of the brick with the liquid nail so this project is almost finished now I have to move on with the decking and then the front yard I still not yet decided what to put here. Maybe <laughs> I'm not sure. I will, I will decide at the end. So this is how it looks. Thanks for watching. Bye.